In just a few hours, the Federal Reserve is expected to announce the fourth interest rate hike of the year. They're hoping to curb inflation and prevent a recession. Let's bring in CBS News reporter Sarah Ewall Weiss now for a closer look at inflation rates and the economy. As we noted, uh, we're anticipating that the Fed's will potentially raise rates again, but there's been little evidence that the, the rate hikes before have proven effective. So what can we expect? <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, hold on to your hats because the Fed is trying to be aggressive as we've seen prices soar 9% from a year ago. Right now, what we are expecting, what economists are anticipating is a three quarters of a percentage hike announced at the meeting that's happening. It's two-day meeting yesterday and today. Uh, we are expecting that to bring the federal funds rate to about two and a quarter to two and a half percent. This is the fourth rate hike of the year. In June, they raised the rate by a similar three quarters of a percentage point. So that'll bring the federal funds rate to actually a neutral rate. Uh, they're looking for a target closer to two percent. But because of soaring inflation, we're anticipating that there'll be much more hikes throughout the end of the year. They have a meeting in September, they have a meeting in November, and they have a meeting in December. So we could see the rate go well above 3 percent by the end of the year. That is something that investors and economists will be closely listening for from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell when he speaks today at 2.30. He won't actually give exact numbers for what he will. they will raise the rate at future meetings. That is done at a meeting-by-meeting -meeting basis. Uh, but he could give an a preview of what to expect and that what is likely. Uh, so that is going to be closely watched as well. Of course, they're doing this as there's been rising concerns over a recession. Uh, so it'll be also interesting to see what he has to say specifically about that and how they're going to move forward with this balancing act in a very unprecedented time. And there are mixed signals uh, over a recession. Um, you've got the White House who's trying to, I guess, redefine it. But other economists say, look, this every indicator that we've seen indicates that we are currently in a recession. So what is the challenge here? Yes. No, this is something that economists across multiple industries are raising expectations of a recession in the United States. But as you mentioned, the Biden administration is trying to downplay uh, those concerns at this point in time. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen did say that the U.S. economy is not in a recession in an interview over the weekend. She talked about the U.S. economy slowing. She acknowledged it is slowing, uh, but she also acknowledged there is a strong labor market at this time, and the economy is going through a transition. Of course, that is different from what other economists have been saying. Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers said that there's a high likelihood of a recession as the Federal Reserve moves to combat soaring in, uh, inflation. He, of course, was ahead of the curve when it came to warning about inflation last spring. Uh, so a lot of people listening to him and what he has to say on this matter. Of course, there are other indicators that go into whether the U.S. is in a recession. So keep in mind, tomorrow we will see another report uh, on the second quarter economic growth, GDP. Um, it's expected that there will be a, a second quarter of decline. Typically, a signal of a recession is two consecutive quarters of decline. Uh, but there are other factors that go into that. So the official designation of a recession will actually be determined by the National Bureau of Economic Research. Their committee will look at both those reports on GDP, as well as other factors involved. And that determination will be made specifically by them. So when we get the report tomorrow about that second quarter and whether there was economic growth slowing, uh, it'll be interesting to see what people are saying. If you see people saying uh, we are officially in a recession, hold on to uh, hold off on that for a moment. Uh, that official designation does come from a specific group. Aside from the GDP, are there any other indicators? Because I just think about the people we talk to and interview on the street and uh, in stories who are really struggling, whether it's gas, groceries, rent. I mean, not, let's not talk about a mortgage. That's right. that's a luxury. Yeah. But just renting a place. Buying yes. food and groceries. Yeah. No, this has been a real challenge, and, and it's kind of a, a really tough thing for the Federal Reserve because their way to combat inflation, to put downward pressure on inflation, is to raise 
the interest rate. And of course, that puts other costs on Americans in the economy. It raises their interest rates for credit cards. It raises their their loans, their interest rates for auto loans. Uh, right now, of course, when you look at mortgages, that is something that's reacting more to the fears of a recession than it is specifically to the Federal Reserve rate hikes. But those interest rates have skyrocketed in recent months. Uh, so this is something that continues to be a challenge for Americans who are already dealing with double digit increases when it comes to food prices and gas prices. Uh, so that is a challenge. We saw consumer confidence has dropped. That was a report earlier this week. Uh, we saw that new home sales dropped. That was another report that was released this week. We'll see the economic growth uh, report, the GDP report tomorrow from the Commerce Department. And then, of course, we have another gauge of inflation, the one that the Federal Reserve looks closely at. That comes out on Friday. Uh, so these are all factors that are coming into play. It's a huge week for the economy and economic indicators. And then next week, we will see the jobs report for July. Uh, so so far, there has been uh, strong jobs reports. Of course, it <laughs> slowed some, uh, but that is another thing uh, to keep in mind as we move forward. If we start to enter a recession, uh, they'll be slower to hire, uh, and that is another thing that could just continually hurt Americans. Yeah. All right, Sarah, always great to have you. I can't, uh, I can't help but think about that song, Ain't Nothing Going On, but, but the rent. If you want to be with me, got to have a J O B. <laughs> Sarah, <exactly. laughs> but it's in this economy, <laughs> no, all it's those true. things are really, really, really difficult, right? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to pay the rent. It's hard to put gas in the car. No, it really is. And, you know, jobs, <clears throat> I mean, they're out there, but not for everybody. Right. It's difficult. Sarah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of decision making to be made by Americans, and it's not easy. It really thank is. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, thank you very much as always. We appreciate it.